Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Chickens back again with another tutorial on Animal Crossing. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the tarantula island. So, this works for pretty much any island. There are some that are better than others. Uh, the ones with more land are usually better. Like the ones with like multiple water sources, like the river and the pond together, kind of bad. But it will all work on the. Well, it works on all of them pretty much. It's just more efficient to get a better island. But, uh, yeah, all you need to do is get Nook Miles thick, you can buy it from the surface uh, ATM thing for like 2,000 miles take it to the dodo guy then you just go to any island so you're gonna need for this you need to bring a shovel an axe a uh, net of course uh, a ladder and you could bring uh, the, the pole vault if you want I don't really use it so I don't see the point of bringing it but yeah so you're gonna get all those uh, those items and you just head over to just a random island. Anyone works, except for the one with um, three layers and the five rocks at the top. That one doesn't really work with this well. But anyway, just like two layers is fine. So the first step in setting all this up is once you get to the island, you're gonna need to cut down all the trees, and then you're gonna need to remove all the flower buds. You don't have to pick up the actual flowers, but remove the buds. So um, we cut the trees, pick up all the items, just so it's less cluttered around, so it's easier to see the tarantulas. So you're gonna chop down all these trees, and then you're gonna pick up the flower buds. So get on the peach tree, pick up all the items. You can pick the weeds up too if you want. I just do it so the item looks more um, cleaner, so I can see them better. But I uh, pick the flower buds. These are gonna help prevent uh, other bugs from spawning besides the tarantula. So we're pretty much trying to reduce every single bug spawn as much as possible. So after you cut down all the trees and move all the flower bugs, neither the stink bugs can spawn anymore and no more butterflies can spawn, so it's really helped us manipulate uh, the tarantula into spawning uh, more often. So after you're done cutting out all the trees and picking up the flower buds, remove all tree stumps and rocks with your shovel. Um, taking out the tree stumps prevents the citrus beetle from spawning and removing the rocks is optional. I just choose to do it because if I'm uh, running from tarantulas, there's like nothing blocking my path, or if I um, they aggro on me, they don't get stuck on anything, it's like running in the water on accident. So I just take them out just so there's more room to operate, and just to make uh, farming tarantulas way faster and more efficient if the rocks are gone, in my opinion. So the next step uh, is if there's a second layer, like a cliff layer, which most islands usually have. This time you're gonna need to remove the flowers from there and then just cover the entire layer of holes. Because sometimes bugs do spawn up here and it's really annoying trying to scare them off. Or sometimes even tarantula spawn up here is like almost impossible to catch them because they just the moment they see you they just aggro and jump off a cliff and they despawn. It's really annoying. I didn't even realize to do this until like halfway through my farming session because uh, tarantulas kept spawning up here like five of them did. It's really annoying, just ruining my efficiency. So after you're just done filling with the holes, you just worry about the first layer. It's like super easy after that. So step four is pretty self-explanatory. Just clear your inventory on the beach. Just put it anywhere. I chose to put it on his rocks. I probably don't recommend that because uh, more roaches do spawn here. So sometimes if you throw a bunch of items on here, it's hard to see like where they are. So I just want to put it on the sand because nothing really spawns there. So it's like really affecting you in any way. So just dump everything you have on the beach, uh, except for your tools. So you can just have the max space to farm tarantulas with. Alright, so now all the setup is complete, so all you do pretty much is just run around the island, just scare away all the tiger beetles, all the wharf roaches. The tiger beetles usually spawn on the grass, or the beach sometimes. And the wharf roach spawn on the rocks, like the gray rock parts from uh, where you put all, put all my items earlier. So just run around, scare those two away. There's always going to be two, so if you don't see two, just make sure you look actually good for those wharf roaches, because sometimes you don't see them. But after that, translate should start spawning within a couple minutes. So yeah, after a couple minutes, you probably start seeing your tarantulas spawning. Uh, they usually spawn in bunches, so I don't know why after the first one spawned, like a bunch spawned after that, so it's really fast. It probably takes like 45 minutes in total, like with the island set up and then catching them all just to get an inventory full of tarantulas. But uh, yeah, so make sure when you uh, have them attack you, when you get them mad, uh, make sure to um, make sure they don't fall in the river. Because there's like a little like a land section connecting the pond and the river on this specific island and uh, when they spawn there they run in the river if I ran the wrong direction so just make sure you watch out for that. But other than that, uh, it's a pretty easy method. If you get a really good island, this probably going to take you like 30-40 minutes honestly. 
This method does work on all the islands. The only one it doesn't work on is that one with like three layers like in a circle with the like five rocks on top. That one's like pretty much impossible to get this to work on. I haven't tried it yet, but I just kind of assume it's kind of a pain just to, because like there's so many layers and so many like places for them to spawn. So try to get like an island with two layers, one layer. So it works pretty much all of them. Just in case you didn't know, tarantulas only spawn after 7, so just make sure to head to your island after 7. I usually go either after the nook's cranny closes around like midnight when my villagers not going to sleep, there's really nothing like left to do on my island. So I just come here to farm bells. This is one of the fastest way to make bells in the game so far. So I did this for about 2.5-3 hours last night, which factors in uh, all the... Island clearing, finding the island, uh, placing them down. It took me like two and a half hours to catch around 70 tarantulas. So uh, if you take 70 times about 8,000, that's 560,000 bells. And if you divide that by two and a half, that's around 224,000 bells per hour. And times that by 24, you get 5.376 million bells you could possibly make per day if you just did this all day. I don't know why you'd want to, but if you wanted to, go ahead. So uh, yeah, this is the fastest way to make money in the game so far, legitimately without doing the item duping glitch or any other cheating like that or time traveling. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, hopefully this helps you guys make some bells, repay your loans, uh, build your bridges, all that stuff. Just leave a comment down below if you want me to cover anything else in the game. I'm pretty much playing this game like all day now since I have nothing else to do. So uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.